Hi, uh, this is Tim from Canada. Um, I just spent two weeks volunteering with Buenos Cosas, and uh, I must say that it's been uh, quite the experience. There's been a lot of uh, hacking weeds with machete, but at the same time, the, uh, the people here, they've, they've got their know-how in a lot of different areas, so I mean, you don't necessarily have to do like farm work. They've, they've got, uh, like, uh, you could teach in a school, or uh, they've been working on different types of projects involving uh, clean water, or like building uh, more efficient stoves for people to cook, or even uh, I think they're open to any kind of level of participation. Or somebody, if somebody has other ideas that might help the community too, it's like been really interesting just having chats with Memo and uh, just about the the culture here and, uh, but also more about my experience in uh, San Antonio where I was where I was put with a family. Uh, I spent two weeks there speaking Spanish and maybe a little bit of English with the kids when they uh, were done with school. Um, I had a great experience. The people here are so sweet. It, it was just uh, like indescribable really. And uh, I didn't really know what to expect either from Guatemala. I mean, back home, people say, oh, it's a scary place, don't go there. But it, it's not really. The, the people here are just Muy <laughs> um, amable. Also, uh, I also really enjoy the fact that uh, the, the volunteer coordinators like uh, Angelica and Memo are both very knowledgeable about the area. So, I mean, if you have any other kind of questions about whatever you need to do while you're here. Uh, also, they don't take any sort of like, uh, like, uh, like they're not the kind of people who are like recommending you a place on a tour to like get a cash cash from the other people kind of thing. It's like they give you the straight up, like, if you want the cheap way to go to Tikali, you'll find the cheap way through them, too, like, or whatever. And uh, Yeah, we just, you know, I'd be talking to Memo about doing something, like, we're talking about the water situation. And he was like, oh, let's go take a look at the uh, the water treatment plan or whatever, go f for, like, a little drive. And they give me a tour of the neighborhood, and I mean, uh, at first glance, you might think, oh, this place looks a little rough, but everybody here is just sweet really uh, kind of tight, close-knit, but it's the kind of place where everybody just says like, hello, how are you doing, as you walk by, it's something I really enjoy, whereas, you know, I'm, if you come from a big city, nobody ever really even stops to say hi to you, <laughs> it's like completely different, but uh, yeah, it's just been really nice. Also, there was a crocodile in the lake next to where I was placed, you know, I don't get to see that kind of thing back home. <laughs> uh, Guatemala is just, uh, it's like another world here. Um, and I've had an excellent time. Um, the food, great. The people, great. Um, and there's like a million and a half things to do here in Tikalapu. Or in El Patan, if you're into like ruins or caves or diving. So it's, it's, you probably know a bit about Guatemala if you're watching this video anyway. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, had a great time. Uh, I hope to return maybe in a year, maybe in the next few years, but I would l I'm definitely going to keep in contact with Memo and maybe even try to do some fundraising back home for, for different projects, uh, particularly the water, clean water project that they have going on here about making filters using, uh, and it was complicated, but we'll, you could probably read about it or talk to Memo, I would suggest talking to Memo about it, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say, uh, thank you very much.